Hi guys, Tony Hayes here from Commando SEO and you can see here, um, this is how the plugin works, the Easy Footer plugin works when you have added some um, links at the bottom. Basically what it's doing is replicating uh, what happens when you're using the blog role but just in the footer area, okay? But we can use this quite wisely and we can build it into, um, you know, multiple ways that we can build it out for things like press releases, for uh, videos, for your most important content and you can make it very, very easy for users to navigate as they get down to the bottom of the, of the page as well to find your best content, okay? So let's show you how it works, how we can create that. You can see here I've created four sections, okay? And you can put as many links in in the sections as you like. Okay, so I've put two in here and that's separated by the um, pipe character. If you want to do more, it will just go from the center out. And if you want to do just one, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so let's take a look inside the plugin. Okay, so here here you can see inside the plugin and. When you scroll down on the left hand side, you will see footer links commando. That's the plugin name that we've got at the moment. Okay. So what I can do then is if I want to add some new sections and new links and uh, do some various other things, all I have to do is follow the tabs on the left hand side. Now, before we start to add any sections or start to add any links, let's take a look over here where it says search engine. Okay. Now you can choose in here whether you want to index these particular links or whether you want to follow them. Usually I keep it allow index and I do uh, don't allow follow, okay? I just don't want to put the um, outbound links to some of my other content because they're site-wide links, but you may, be have, you may have a different purpose for that. And basically then the plugin becomes just uh, for user-friendly um, navigation, which is always a good thing. Even Google, uh, even Google will like that as well, okay? so. For some reason, it hasn't jumped back in here, but we did save it as uh, no follow. We will get that checked and make sure it's working okay. Um, if I want to, the first thing we want to do is we want to add a section in here. Let's just take a look at the link options. You can choose the background color, etc. I suggest you don't do that until you've added a couple of links and you can make it suit um, the color of your theme um, this way. So you can choose the color for the background, choose the color um, for the um, the actual link itself, we keep it the blue color, the hyperlink blue color, and you can choose the color to use when the link is hovered. Okay, so if we just go and take a look at that quickly, it's blue, and then you hover it, it turns to red. Okay, and the background color is this color here. Okay, so you can adjust that to fit your theme any way, any way you like. Um, let's come back over to the plugin. So the first thing we want to do is add in some sections after you have chosen what to do with your search engine settings up here. Okay, so if I want to add in a section and I want to call this one uh, our YouTube channel or best of our YouTube channel, something like that. We can just quickly click on add a section. Okay, and it takes just about 20 seconds to add. Okay, so that's now there. So now what I want to do is I want to add a new link. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go over to my YouTube channel and I will find a link. Just quickly go into my YouTube channel over here. Creator Studio. And I am going to go to my video manager. And I'm going to go to my playlist, for example. And maybe I want to take this playlist here, which is for SEO services. Okay, so I'm going to come over to my plugin. I'm going to put in the link. And you can see this is a playlist that I'm using. So you can use it in different ways. Okay, SEO services. Sorry, my typos. I do a lot of them recommended SEO services and this will be 
the text that hovers that I'm filling in right now, quality SEO services provided by Anthony is something like that. Okay. So then I'm just going to choose where I'm going to put that in there and I can leave that blank. It will open in a new window. I can click on add the link and that will be added. And when that is added, we can refresh the WordPress site and it should show our link now. Just waiting for it. There, let's come down. As you can see, best of our YouTube channel recommended SEO services. Okay, now if I come back over, maybe I want to find another playlist in here. SEO Sunday weekly webinars, which is a free SEO training every Sunday, then I can come over here and just add in a second URL. Okay, I'm just going to copy this that into the description. You can make this as long as you want. Okay, but I can come down, put this into best of YouTube channel. I'm just going to change that to replace because I've already got a webinar section on that particular site. And I can click on add the link and I'll just pause the video while this is happening. Okay, it takes a few seconds because um, Camtasia time uh, tends to slow down things for some reason. Oh, well, that was quick. Okay. And you can see here, we've got the pipe character, we've got free SEO Sunday weekly SEO training replays. Okay. Now we're probably going to take this plugin a little bit further and let you do things with um, um, sort of images, maybe 100 by 100. And we can do this nicely. We can take it a lot further. This is actually the second version um, that we've done, but we can definitely take it further. And if there's little tweaks that need done to make sure that this will confirm it's not followed, etc., we will add those as well. And, um, you know, your suggestions are welcome too. And if you want to go and edit any links at any time, just go into the edit link section here. You can edit the same as you do any link in your blog row, um, and you can just change anything you want. Maybe you've made a typo or whatever, um, you want to go and check that, um, change it or whatever, you can go, go ahead and do that anytime, okay? Um, but just be careful with the site-wide links. Um, it's not advisable really to make them um, site wide links going to your money sites but you could get away with it if you're doing it for things like web 2.0 sites if you've got a quality tumblr blog or if you've got a quality pinterest account or youtube channel those kind of things it's fine um, to use but for your money sites make it no follow as far as the links going and just use it for the for traffic purposes only only um, really if you want to link to your money sites from other sites and make it contextual links within within the articles um, for the do follow and that way you don't damage yourself um, as far as the SEO is concerned okay um, no follow means it can still click for it's no big deal um, Google still sees them uh, we just don't want it in a site wide link okay so that's it thanks and um, if you get any questions you can just send in a ticket to support at anthonyhays.me um, by email it will get registered into a ticket desk and one of my assistants will come, come in and uh, check your email and deal with you uh, accordingly for what help you need. Okay, thanks. Bye.